girls, it's Miss Trish from the Warren Trumbull County Public Library, and I'm here to do a story time for you about pets. I would like to introduce you to the pets that I have at my house. I have two pets. I have a little black cat, and his name is Luigi. Luigi, can you say hello? Meow. And I also have a big brown dog, and his name is Yoshi. Yoshi, can you say hello? Ruff, 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 ruff. So this is Yoshi and Luigi. Which, what kind of pets do you have at home? Do you have any pets? Oh, yeah. What is that, Yoshi? Ruff, 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 ruff. <gasps> Yoshi would like to do a song and story for you about different kinds of pets. So they're going to sit down over here. I have got a mouse in my house and he doesn't want to go. I'll find a cat to chase him out. You know, he'll chase that cat, you know. But now I have a cat in my house and is meowing all night long. I'll find a dog to get him out. He'll bark until he's gone. That's right. But now I've got a dog in my house, scratching at fleas all day. I'll find a pig to chase him out. He'll scare that dog away. Hmm, but now I've got a pig in my house, making it a real pig pen. What will I find next? I'll find a lion to chase him out. He'll give a roar and then I'll have a lion in my house, a roaring day and night. Hmm, I'll find an elephant big and strong to chase him out of sight. But now I've got an elephant in my house, breaking it all to pieces. Hmm, let's see. I'll find a mouse to tickle his trunk until he starts to sneeze. I've got a mouse in my house, and he's got a quiet little way. Hmm. He's kind of cute and friendly. I think I'll let him stay. Have you ever had a mouse in your house? I have, and you know, Luigi, my little cat Luigi likes to chase him. Yep, he likes to chase that little mouse. And Yoshi, my dog, just likes to watch the little mice as they go running along. So I thought it would be fun to feed my dog Clifford bones. And as you see, I just took a box. I ordered something and I got a box sent to me and I painted Clifford and I put him on here and I put a little hole for his mouth and I cut out some dog bones and I thought it would be fun to roll my big die, count the numbers and then feed dog bones to Clifford. Would you like to try it? Okay, let's see what number we've got. Four. One, two, three, four. Let's feed Clifford four dog bones. Will you help me count? One, two, three, four. Let's see. Oh, he likes those. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready? Roll our dice. What number do we have now? Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Clifford's one hungry dog today. Let's see here. You ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six. All right. That's just a fun little game. You can use dice from any game. I just happen to have this big blow up dice, die, and a box. And it's just a fun little game to play at home. Now that Clifford has a full belly, he's tired. So we're going to play a little game and guess which dog house the dog is sleeping in. Little dog, little dog, what did you decide? Is the red dog house a good place to hide? No, he's not there. 
Let's try the orange one. Little dog, little dog, what did you decide? Is the orange dog house a good place to hide? Not there either. Hmm. Little dog, little dog, what did you decide? Is the blue dog house a good place to hide? No, not underneath there either. Hmm. Which one should we try next? How about purple? Little dog, little dog, what did you decide? Is a purple dog house a good place to hide? <gasps> there he is, we found him. He liked the purple dog house. That was a perfect place to hide. Well, lastly, I would like to share a nursery rhyme with you. Nursery rhymes are a great way to uh, start reading and hearing the rhymes of words. And I would like to do the nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle. And right here I have a little mix. And if you know this one, sing it along with me. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. All right, very good. Well, can you touch your nose right here? Can you touch your chin? That's the way the game begins. Can you touch your eyes? Can you touch your knees right here? Now cover your mouth and pretend that you're going to sneeze. Achoo! Can you touch your hair? Can you touch your ears? Can you touch your two red lips right here? Touch your elbows where they bend. That's the way story time ends. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a sunshiny day.